Hey everybody, this is uh, this is Reese of Brush It Cub, and this oh, this is my new home. Um, it's kind of small, I know, but I mean it's it's well lit. It's got a bed and a, uh, a crafting bench. I mean it's got the it's got what you need in it. Um, as you see, I'm missing some things. I, I died again, and basically the reason I'm not in town. Well, I guess I'll just go and show you. Is it safe? safe um yeah gotta be kind of careful up here uh <laughs> okay yeah uh, anyway the other night uh was kind of hectic uh, i ran back to to the to, i guess it's town hall and i thought i made it safe and i was safe for a little while but as time passed I realized that I might have attracted some attention from some animals. I didn't want attention. Let me go get my stuff back before I continue to explain it. But, uh, so yeah, I moved up there because the town villagers now, I guess they hate me, you could say. I, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. They don't like me anymore. Um, I don't remember what I'm classified as. I guess we can go and check, but I, it's not my fault that I'm just, that I draw attention to myself. Uh, you know, trolls. Oh, that's new. Uh, anyway, trolls are kind of dangerous creatures. I don't, I, I feel like I'm rambling. This is basically what happened here. Uh, <laughs> things were going good. Um, I'd went back outside. I'd gotten materials and built myself a bed right in here. And I went to sleep. And everything was going great. And then I wake up. Um, and trolls had done this. And then there were spiders everywhere. And... Rats were attacking me, and basically, basically things just didn't go well. And now I am, uh, I'm an unpleasant outsider, and, uh, whoever raised you did a very poor job. We hope you will be gone soon. That is not an Indian accent. I can't do an Indian accent. I don't I end up sounding like Baljeet from Phineas and Ferb, but yeah, you get the idea. Obviously, I'm not well liked. I didn't want to hang out here and continue to be hated, so I... I ventured up there, but uh, yeah, things have changed now, not really, considering it's only been one day, uh, but I've, I've got some objectives. I want to start gathering resources and see if I can't get the, the locals to like me. So I'm going to start with, uh, I'm going to start with wood, because that seems to be in high, high demand around here, they're constantly building something, so I'm thinking that maybe if I bring them some wood, they'll like me, I don't know, it's a possibility. Anything to get me off of the uh, the nuisance. You know, this guy's got a lot of women over here. Which one of you do I sell things to? Here you go. Sell me a few pieces of wood. And now, I'm still an unpleasant outsider, but I'm a wealthy unpleasant outsider. I've got eight denier, and I can buy... Where'd she go? Hello? I can't really buy anything. I can buy some of this stuff. All right. All right let's see what they really need. What do they need? They need some... All different kinds of wood. They need some cobblestone. And they need some and sandstone. Alright, well, I'll tell you what. I need some stone for my house. I need something better than, than mud. So I guess we'll head over here and just start mining. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go back to where all that we found all that coal. Because I need more, more torches. Uh, not in there. Oh, look at that. Wait, what? Did I get it? I guess I got it. Uh, but yeah, I need more coal... Uh, what is this? Oh, just gravel, okay. And, uh, I'm trying to be careful because I realized something. Not all mods go away during the, uh, during the daylight hours. There's some pretty terrible things that linger on that I would rather not come into company with. Uh, so again, I'm trying to be cautious. Uh, there we go. Got some coal, got some cobblestone, got some coal. Oops, didn't mean to do that. But yeah, uh, I mean, aside from all the un all the terrible, unfortunate setbacks like death, repeated death, and, and the villagers hating me, I mean, I'm enjoying the Yug Bucks so far. It's been a good experience, I think. Um, I've learned how not to communicate with people. Uh, I've learned what not to do in town halls, like, you know, spend the night. 
it's not good. It's not a good idea. It never ends well for you. I just feel like I need to avoid that area. I don't know why. These things are getting thick, man. What time is it? All right, yeah, it's still noon. Let's go sell some of this cobblestone and see if that gets me liked. How many did I get? Nine? That's it? Mm. What is this? Is this like a local, local mine, I guess, maybe? Oh, sandstone. I needed some of that, too. And I could use some of it too, actually. I could, I could, I think sandstone would look nice on my house. Anything looks better than what I've got up there now, actually. And, uh, my mining level just increased. Yay. I, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Let me just tell you right now playing with the Yogg Box is different than playing any other way. I will, I will tell you that up front. It's not your basic game. I mean, in a basic game, I usually just build a house and go for it. But this. It's got a whole another style to it. I don't I don't even know how to explain it. But uh there we go. And how many do I have? Fifty four denier. I'm gonna get me some more mud bricks. Because I think those look styling. I like them. And am I any better liked? Oh, okay, I'm just a regular nuisance. We do not like foreigners here, especially of your kind. Alright, so I'm getting there. I'm getting liked. I'm almost there, but uh I guess it does take time. People just don't start liking you overnight. Especially not after you destroy a town hall. And get everyone killed. I can't get over that. I still feel bad about that, man. It was terrible. It was just... Ugh. Now I'm living in a mud shack. I don't even know. I, I don't even know. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Pardon me, ma'am. What are these? Indian buildings? Indian objects, Indian villagers. How much is that? Is that 10 to I'll go ahead and do that. I might as well. And sell all the rest of that. Um, ooh. Indian buildings. Village. Centress. Uh, the chief's house. The brick house serves as a home for the chief and his wife, as well as being the village center. The many chests are there to collect the generous contributions of the villagers. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, that should be helpful. What about... It's almost like a translator, sort of. Because I, I was needing one of those earlier. I couldn't figure out what anything was. Do we have one for for people? Yes, we do. Okay. Figured out the village leader. Uh, Red Dup Sapatia. Red Put General. Uh, family line. Overshoes. Okay. Yeah, I saw him fighting some stuff earlier. These lower class women perform difficult... And thankless tasks such as tending the fields, delivering food and tools, blah blah blah. A woman's a woman's real job. Uh, <laughs> ah, just kidding. Um, all right, that's okay. Yeah, that's it's branching on being sexist now. It was racist on Survival Island. Sexist here. I don't know what's gonna happen next. Uh, I'm probably gonna get taken off the internet at some point. But whatever, whatever. Um, it's, it's whatever. I'm paranoid about day and night these days. I keep thinking it's just gonna get dark. And I'm just gonna die, and everything's gonna be terrible. And <sighs> but one consolation is I don't think trolls can get up that mountain. So I think I'm safe up there. I'm not quite completely sure though, so I don't know. It could go either way. Hey, Chief, how am I doing? Still a nuisance. Okay, I'm gonna go do some work on the house real fast and get some torches up. And who knows? I might stand out tonight because I'm curious to see what some of the creatures are. Because last night, I, I didn't really have time to look at what was killing me. It was just killing me repeatedly, actually. I got to a point where I just buried myself in a hole and, uh, and stayed there. I can go show you the hole if you want me to. But yeah, I just need to rethink this wall. Uh, <laughs> golly, this place looks terrible. All right, I got 10 pieces, so we'll see what I can. Oh, look, a lion. I actually want to avoid those. I think they'll attack. There we go. And uh, you know what? No, yeah, look at that.
We are looking better already. Look at that. Just ignore that part up there. Just ignore it. Um. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen. I don't know how that happened. There we go. Alright. And... Let's light up this place a little bit more. I'm really paranoid. <laughs> and uh, let's see what else have I got. Do I have any more wood? I got two more pieces of wood. And four more pieces. Oh, you know what? Sand would probably look good too compared to, compared to what I've got. Let's try it. No. That just doesn't work. Oh, I need to fill up that hole though. One day my houses will look as good as those. I'm wondering if they're ever actually gonna fix Town Hall or just leave it a big gaping mess like that. It's an interesting question, I guess. All right, look, as you see, everyone is going home. And uh, well, as I do that, I'm going to do a little bit more reading up while we wait for sun to set. Uh, cover that. Cover that. Cover that. Rich women. Their gold embroidered saris are only matched by their reluctance to do any work. I want to avoid people like that in my city. Kasanap. It's a peasant. These poor men aspire to raising their own chickens one day, but for now are forced to construct buildings, produce bricks for the village, and tend to the fields with their wives. A luck a lakar hara lakara is a lumberman. Okay, yeah, that's that's easy. Uh, miner soldiers a smith army smith sculptor priests. Alright, cool, that's that's pretty cool. Um buildings I'm not too concerned about right now. Alright, it's getting dark. The monsters are about to come out. This is gonna be terrifying. I'm just gonna stay up here where it's safe and kind of, kind of watch what goes on down there. Cause I, like I said, I, I want to see all the animals converge in the city. I think it's gonna be interesting to watch. I think I'm safe here. I don't think I'll attract anything's attention that's gonna come busting through the wall there. The only downside to living up here, I mean, like I said, this is the only way in. So I mean, in, unless something can like a um, like a troll breaches the wall, I'm pretty much taken care of. But if a troll comes along and breaches the wall and all the terrors of the night start to pour through, I have nowhere to run. Uh, and as you saw at the beginning, I did die when I fell. I mean, I guess I could jump into that water there. I don't know if it's deep enough, though. I don't want to try it. <laughs> I don't want to find out. Um, all right, darkness is here. Wish I had a magnifying glass or something. Just some kind of binoculars. Is that stuff blowing? Hmm. Curious. Uh, oh, by the way, I think I might have already mentioned this. But mice attack you at night. You might want to avoid those. Nasty little boogers. Just throwing that out there. That's why I'm not standing on the edge. Because I don't want one to come up and nip me and send me off the edge. Look at them down there, scurrying around. Bunch of little nasty rats, that's what they are. Um, moon's coming up, guys. Where are you? Hmm. Of course, the night I'm not down there, nothing spawns. Oh, just one peaceful. Oh, okay. They're over here. I see a zombie. That's it so far. It's, it's kind of peaceful up here. I think I'll stay up here. Oh, what is this? Looks like a horsey. It's my little... Whoa! Where'd they come from? 